Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at the next issue, and that is um, Richard Dawkins. Uh, Richard Dawkins is a world famous uh, biologist and has written extensively on uh, the issue of evolution and is well respected around the world as a scientist. But, and here's the but, his scholarship is suspect. First of all, I want to say talk about his issue, the issue of religion, and the issue of Christianity, and then about the issue of science. On the issue of Christianity, he said comments such as um, that it's child abuse if you actually teach children creation, and it's been commentated by people like um, um, John Lennox, professor of mathematics at Oxford that this kind of language is very dangerous, it's like very demonizing of Christians and um, it's very worrying so I would say that you know as a scholar, a world class scholar in biology for him to use that kind of language is not very scholarly, it, it's really really bad in fact it's not bad, it's pretty, di pretty disgusting it, um, so that's one important thing to know. The second thing is on the specifics. If you read Dawkins books um, what you'll find is he never actually deals with any of the great philosophers or Christian thinkers today. He doesn't deal with William Wayne Craig, he doesn't deal with um, Alvin Plantica, he doesn't deal with R.C. Sproul, uh, Dr. Al Muller, he doesn't deal with any of the great Christian thinkers of today, Professor Hart etc. He just in fact, he doesn't even have a grasp of the basic arguments of what the Christian faith is on the on the existence of God, and the scholarly world has taken him to task on that, and um, people have said, you know, it's pretty poor scholarship. So on the issue of him debunking Christianity, he's very very poor in his scholarship, and that's a fact. On the issue of evolution and science. I, I honestly believe that he shows a tremendous amount of bias. You know, I've read some of his works, and if you read some of his work, you know, he often again sets up his own arguments, uh, so he looks good, but he, he never actually engages with other people's arguments and then proves his point. You know, they're kind of like straw man arguments, so. Um, you know, I, I could use examples, but for example, he, he, in in one book, he's arguing that we shouldn't trust our senses. Um, we should trust the scientific method uh, because if we trust our senses, they can deceive us. And there's a there's a a situation in in his book where a monkey he shows a monkey coming into a group of people. Uh, a man dressed as a monkey into a group of people and then goes and the people never realize the monkey came and he says look they you know psychology shown us we shouldn't trust our senses here's the monkey it came in it went out the man in the monkey suit came and went and nobody knew he was there so you shouldn't trust your senses but everybody knows that these psychological tests are very subjective and are often very flawed even atheists such as Sam Harris have said this. Uh, so, in other words, he, you know, he's basing foundational arguments on very sort of weak evidence, and it's all subjective because he's trying to set up um, his arguments without really dealing with opponents who can critique him, and that's a fact. Thank you.